Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 83. This episode is Vidan Tran, who is awesome. Vidan is a uh, stunt performer, filmmaker, member of the Jackie Chan stunt team, all around badass dude. Uh, he's great. He's great. He actually took time uh, to chat with me at an airport during a layover. Uh, he was headed home from Jordan to, uh, back to Germany uh, to uh, to welcome his uh, his first baby into the world. So congrats on that, Vidan. Um, this episode's awesome. It's uh, like I said, I I cannot stress enough how awesome he was to give me his time. You know, because he really didn't have to, and to make time, especially in the midst of travel, uh, just shows what kind of a stand up dude he is. And the work that he has put out, guys, amazing, amazing. Uh, we talk about how he uh, first got into martial arts. Actually, he talks about being a being a gamer, and then his parents were like, "All right, it's time for you to do something." And he, they got him into martial arts. He started doing wushu uh, at a very young age. And then we mention how he he goes into that, and then eventually um, starts getting into film. He goes to film school. We talk about that, and then we talk about how his first big movie was Skyfall, and how his background in wushu didn't necessarily translate um so that was really fun and he tells a great story about meeting his hero jet lee uh it's 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 so good it's so good and then he tells a really really good story about a buddy of his who went after his dreams in the same way that v dan has and he really talks about how like when you have a dream you really have to fight for it and you gotta you gotta show how far you're willing to go um, and it's, it was very, very inspiring and super cool. Um, and you're just going to love it. You're just going to love it. We talk about that. We talk about his work on the, uh, Darth Maul, uh, fan film that came out a couple years ago. He ended up being the action director, which is cool. Um, how he got onto the Jackie Chan stunt team because B Dan's on it. What? What? So cool. If you know what that is, you know how big of a deal it is. Uh, and then we briefly talked about Into the Badlands and how that, how that goes. Uh, again, Cannot stress how, how cool he is and how cool it was of him to to chat, to chat. Awesome, dude. Vidan, if you're listening, thanks again. You're great. For everyone else, without further ado, let's get into this thing. Here is the interesting podcast, episode number 83 with Vidan Tran. Theme song time. <laughs> And then from there, I go to Turkey, from Turkey to Germany. You know? Oh, so it's man. Like tra- yeah. It's an exhausting flight, but it's... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet. You're traveling yeah. half the world in a night. Yeah. Yeah. Ki- kind of, yeah. Jeez. But it's important because uh, on Monday, uh, my wife has a, a first baby organ check. Wow. And, uh, Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And, That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I just want to go back home. That's a good reason to fly across the world for a weekend. Yeah. That's a, well definitely, done. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Right Definitely. on. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, congrats. That's huge. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, big step. First baby, first kid. Wow. And, uh, yeah, really exciting and also scared. Because, yeah. Because, you know, uh, yeah, the job is different. That's true. The lifestyle true. is different. Yeah, and I hope I can be the best father uh, so far, yeah, for I the baby. That, I think that already makes you the best father because you're going in thinking that. You know, <laughs> I feel like the worst as of the ones that are like, eh, it's fine. Oh, I'll get to it. You know, true, true, true. You know, you know, and I mean, you've been in some pretty hairy situations before. So fatherhood is mm. going to be a cakewalk. You know, uh, do, do you have kids? <laughs> yeah, I do not. I have a nephew and uh, who? <laughs> who boy. Yeah. I always joke that I, my I brother bet, has I a bet. kid so I don't have to. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but but ne- never wish for or, or maybe later. Uh, maybe later, maybe later. Mm. You never know what the future holds, you know. True, true. Man, man. True. So you're you're flying back to Germany, and if I'm correct, are you from Germany? Yes, exactly. I'm based in Germany. Yes. Really? Were you born there? Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Do you speak German? 
Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. That's cool. I do not speak English. <laughs> I speak only I, yeah, English. <laughs> I wonder. I, I wonder. I was like, okay, now usually when the question comes, and like, oh, wait a minute, I, can, I speak German as well. Then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you speak German? Now's the test. Here we go. Yeah, what is the exactly. German word for? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I feel like a lot of Europe, because the countries are so close to one another, a majority of people do speak multiple languages. Uh, uh yeah, they do. I, especially Germany, actually, yes. Mm-hmm. Or how can I say? Like, supposedly, yes, but <laughs> not all. Yeah, not all the German speaks uh, English. Yeah. Yeah. But but sense. but of course, m- m- most most of the people, of course, yeah. Yeah. This is a common thing. Where are you actually from? I'm in uh, I'm in Florida, in the U.S. Florida, exactly. Florida, exactly. Yeah, yeah. the other side of the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the one yeah, my, my, my my family, my family uh, from my mother's side, uh, they live also in, uh, not in Florida, but in L.A. Anaheim. Oh, right on. It's actually, yeah. it's, it's not too too far away from Florida, right? Yeah, that's right. It's where like five uh, hours so far. So. That's where Disneyland is. Yeah, exactly. Anaheim. Exactly. Yeah, Anaheim's yeah, nice. Yeah, Anaheim. Mm-hmm. That's funny. You're like, it's only five hours by plane because you're traveling overnight. You're like, I travel yeah, the world. Exactly. Five hours is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's nuts. What, so what is it like growing up in Germany? I've never been. I've always wanted to go. Uh, how, it, how is it then? I mean, like, uh, <laughs> I really love it. I, I, actually, I, I, I appreciate, appreciate to grow up in Germany mm-hmm. or in general in Europe. Because uh, I always went back in the days when I was young. In my childhood, of course, I fly, flew back uh, a lot of time to America sure. because of my family. But uh, I have also family in Germany. And most of my friends, of course, everyone, my, 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 my whole situation is in Germany. And uh, I appreciate it because uh, it's, maybe it's a cliche, but, you know, Germany, Germany, they are very strict. They are straightforward. Right. They are sometimes organized. I I'm not that often <laughs> organized, but uh, I try my best uh, yeah. to, to fulfill the German uh, cliche, and um, it is it's a good mix. I will say it, it is a good mix, and it makes me it makes me very strong, especially in filmmaking or in the film business. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, for sure. You know, you know, you know how it is. Like, it doesn't matter where it is, even it's America or it's London or it's in China or Asia. We are in 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 the movie business. Sometimes it's um, there's a lot of fake, a lot of poker oh, faces. Yes. A lot, you know, like those kind of things and gamble are, or they pretend. And I th- I feel like in Germany it's less sure. because also we we have been. And it's not that because we, uh, we are. Uh, I would say that German is better or something. It's sure. just the mentality. <laughs> mentality is different. The mentality is just different. Sure. That, it saves a lot of but time. But also, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But also, but also Germany, they are. And at the same time, they're moaning a lot. Oh, always sure. Always complaining. <laughs> always complaining. You know, That's part of it. Always complaining. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's part of it. This is, this is the bad side, I would say. Like the, What I really admire from America people or US, but I, every, every time I go to LA, it's crazy how positive the energy is. Oh, yeah. It's crazy how positive. And which is like very, very good. Like It makes you like um, addicted as well. Mm-hmm. But also, at the same time, they talk a lot and then nothing oh, happens. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, this is right. yes. In Germany, in Germany is different. They, they don't do promising that much, oh. which is like very sucks. You know, like they, they don't promise. They're like, yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, they're like, or they say, <laughs> yeah, it's, or, or maybe it's not a good, a good idea. You know, like, or they're trying to push you down. That's, that's the worst. Right. But if they, if they say, you know what, it's good, they, uh, they, they, they do their math. And then was they will say like oh, oh they will commit okay it's great it's, it sounds good let's do it then they will do it sure you know, there's, no, there's not right, a lot yeah. of emotion into the thing they're like the math checks yeah, out exactly. so okay <laughs> exactly it is it is yeah <laughs> you won't it's see true. a lot of excited German people in the film industry <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> that's yeah. funny so um, so I bet in a place yeah. like that because I I know you started martial arts pretty young was that in yeah. Germany do they take martial arts as seriously as well so you've got to up your uh, competition. Uh, yeah, I did a, a lot of competition, but um, I was really lucky, um, lucky and unlucky. I would say my my parents uh, back in the days uh, they forced me when I was young. There you before, go. yeah, before when I was eleven, like it started with eleven. Yes. Oh wow. I was a, sh- a shoppy, shoppy little boy who was only playing games, <laughs> literally. And I, w- I was so like no discipline. I was really like a 
like a bad boy, a little little lazy boy. There you go. And um, but yeah, my, then all of a sudden my parents they just decided, hey, you know what, you should go martial arts. I said no, I don't want to because I had my mind like the Shaolin, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, have to shave the head and then uh, oh, doing all this shit. Get it, get I don't want to do that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I, literally, I almost imagine. I said, no, <laughs> fuck it. No, I want to do it. But then uh, first day, and then I was like, oh, okay, this is different than I thought, my explanation and then uh, expectation. And then in the end, uh, yeah, I love it. It changed my life. It's my, it's my philosophy. It's my life energy, I would say. So everything starts uh, since then day, from this day. And um, uh, every, everything um, turns around like, Martial arts is my, my thing. It was my life. Yeah. yeah. That's so yeah, funny. You like martial arts and you have to be a Shaolin monk. And you're like, oh, man, I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then uh, here, the, the, the sport itself, uh, I did wushu. That's my base. Oh, my, my, cool. My, my foundation. Pretty. And uh, I, yeah, I was really lucky because the wushu ba- background uh, or the wushu federation in Germany, there was, the, uh, when I started, uh, there was a little, or there was a federation just just uh, just found it, mm-hmm. and um, it, it was a proper f- uh, federation. They flew uh, flew uh, flew in uh, five or six uh, Chinese ma- uh, um, um, teachers, masters from China. Oh, that's cool. From Beijing, from Beijing, Shanghai, whatever, and then they split up in six uh, different uh, cities. So it's like uh, North uh, Germany, uh, West Germany, uh, East Germany, and uh, in the South, and that's then a cool. little bit in the middle. Which is really cool, yeah. And then they, it's kind of expensive. It was, was like an academy. So, right. um, yeah, so I started there and then I tried to be also professional and went very well. But the, the supporting from Germany was not, from the government, it was not that strong because it's like not known uh, martial arts. You know, it's not like right. boxing or it's not like soccer. Because soccer is big, you know, in Germany. It's sure. It's super big. Yeah. And uh, Wushu is, I, no, no one knew, uh, knew that, about that. But uh, the community was kind of big. We had like, I think, 300, 400 people wow. in the whole Germany. It's a, it was quite, quite, quite decent. Yeah, it was quite decent. But uh, I stopped doing professional when I was 18, around 18, because of school. Everything was too much. And nice. I start, start, started to study um, uh, filmmaking, uh, directing and uh, cinematography in oh, the film cool. school. So, yeah, then all, everything was just too much. But I, I still uh, kept, kept training. Mm-hmm. But um, not professional, not for competition anymore. Sure. And also... Uh, I think you know about it. You know, wushu has changed. The modern wushu changed a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's more like, like performance-based and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of jumping. And it's only about uh, pointing, uh, uh, to, to collect points. So you do one and a half jumps or two and a half twist jump in split, and then you do unnecessary movements, but then it's all about jumping. Right. And uh, it's just to collect points. So the, the whole system um, uh, changed. And then everyone's like, ah, oh, you know, there's no passion anymore. There's no um, martial arts spirits anymore. It's just about sports. It's more Olympic. So everyone started to uh, be lazy a little more or to, to question it. Sure. And there are a lot of members, they lost a lot of members. Yeah. And politics. There's yeah. Oh, yeah. Some, you know, you know, my foundation, uh, uh, not a federation, a federation how, they, how they work. Oh, always like, always. Oh, you know, mm-hmm. it's always uh, politics and money. So, oh, yeah. yes. And something like that. Uh-huh. That's another thing with martial arts that I've learned is a lot of people, when you want to go in, there's the competition side of it, but then other people want, like, real-world application. You know? It's like, yeah, if you can do it, really yeah. good for points, but then you can't actually fight in a real situation, then you're like, uh-oh, yes. what's happening? Yeah, exactly. exactly. That question. Especially um, with Wushu, uh, we don't have a belt system. Oh, right? okay. So, okay. so th- which makes, for Germany, or I think, l- let's say, Western people, it's very hard, right? Because there's no um, there's no goal, right? The only the, the only goal is that you have to be better, or you will win uh, first place, second place. That that right. that, that, that is supposed to be your motivation. Mm-hmm. But uh, most of the time you train, you just train uh, every day. You train, train, train. You you're repeating your routine. You are repeating to get faster. But uh, may, uh, eventually, uh, the master or the teacher will say or the coach. Yeah, you, you step up, you know, now you're faster than before, but you cannot tell. Right. You know, you, maybe you fear, but there's no um, comparison. If you, sure. for instance, you know, you, you have belt system, then, oh, you know, I will, I will fight, I will train hard for my, for my black belt or right. something like that, you know. Like a so you have kind of goal, goal as opposed yeah, to exactly. growing yourself. Exactly. 
Yeah. yeah. So you that, did that, get into that, the, the Shaolin mentality without even thinking about it. Look at that, Vidan. True, true. Yeah. <laughs> they got you. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the change of my, also my life. Yeah, it's true, true. Yeah. Especially um, uh, Buddhism. Uh, I was born as a Buddhist, but mm -hmm. uh, it was not that strong uh, mindset yet. Sure. But then when I started with, the, with Wushu, everything combined, the combination. So it was just the combination. Sure. It fit so well. And I find I just found myself and my identity, especially with Jackie Chan movies and Jet Li. Uh, I was oh, perfect. Yeah. That was that was my world. That was my world. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Especially Wushu. That's Jet Li, man. He's yes, like, yes. He's Jet like Li, top of the top. Exactly. Yeah, Jet Li is uh, he's my uh, my oh yeah, still it's my favorite idol. It's that's my, your guy. Uh, idol, my hero. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you ever yeah. see, do you ever see the one? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Whoa, man. That was a good one. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Jet Li's yeah. good in everything, say, to be honest, though. <laughs> yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, I met him in Hong Kong. Oh, uh, what was that like? 2013. Uh, I, I was. Hey, it was crazy. This story is. This my best story. I cannot forget. It's like uh, it would be yesterday or it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, I, I worked for a, uh, for in Hong Kong for uh, I think it was nine months for a Chinese um, uh, uh, company, like a movie company. Mm -hmm. What's that? Production company. Yeah, and uh, its name is China Star. Oh, uh, and uh, it was one of the biggest uh, movie um, production in China, Hong Kong. Oh, cool! And uh, Mr. Heng is the the CEO, and um, he, uh, he I didn't know in the beginning. I was there for, for training his son and make him uh, for action design or for for screen fighting, making him ready for his movie. Right. And um, uh, they, 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 I don't know why, but uh, all of a sudden they asked me. Who is my my favorite actor or whatever? I thought, of course, I told him yeah, Jet Li is my I'm biggest fan of Jet Li, and everyone was laughing because uh, Jet Li is in the in their management. Oh, oh and I didn't know. And then one couple of days, some, sometimes uh, we had to train the downstairs, and Jet Li was upstairs playing Mayong with uh, Mr. Hung, and oh, I didn't what? know. I was so fucking nervous, but I never met him in that day. But I, of course, everyone knew that I was a big fan. So uh, one day, uh, Mr. Hung, uh, he organized a barbecue on a rooftop uh, on his building. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he said, like, hey, you know what? In 10 minutes, Zeli is coming, so be prepared. Oh. I, like, uh, I, I, I thought it was <laughs> just a joke. It was just a joke. But all of a sudden, yes, 10 minutes later, he was there. Oh. And I was, oh, my God. I, you know, <laughs> usually I met, I met many people already, like famous, popular people. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, I always keep myself. I always be professional. Professional. It's just people. It's just people. Yeah, you gotta be try. professional. <laughs> yeah, and also my uh, when I work, uh, it's it's kind of like co-worker. It's a colleague. It's right. not like oh, he's a superstar. You know, you have to treat him like a colleague. So respect. Don't take pictures, whatever. Yeah. But when I met Je when I met Jelly, oh fuck, I was the <laughs> biggest the fanboy <laughs> ever. And I was like. Fuck it, fuck it. Yeah. I, I lose everything. I, I don't mind. I'm a fanboy. Yeah, exactly. I, they threw I, it on I, you. That's not your fault. Yeah, I do. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and also, uh, of course, I asked for a picture, everything. But, and I have a picture, my eyes, my face. I was the happiest guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. I was so, it was not real. For me, it was not real. That's yeah. amazing. Well, now you have proof. So, hey, it worked out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool though. You met your dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. What? Well, so what, that that had to have been difficult to go from like just playing video games all the time into martial arts full full gung ho. Yeah, was yeah. That, was that crazy. tough? Yeah, had to have been. Uh, honestly, I, uh, or the obsession clicked this, right away. Yeah, it was like one day. Yeah, uh, that makes one sense. One day after, after, it was it was pretty, uh, literally I was a uh, shopping shopping uh, little boy. <laughs> and then when I started with the martial arts, it was crazy. I don't know why, but I, I started to train every day for two or three hours. I couldn't do a one uh, push-up. And then I started, I just started it. And then, uh, I don't know, like one year or six months later, I, uh, yeah, um, I get slimmer. I got yeah. slimmer and everything went very well. It was pretty quick, especially 11 and 12. You, you, your, your body oh, is bet. not uh, uh, developed yet. So, you, yeah, you change very quick as well. And sure. uh, no, it was pretty. Yeah, you know, it's like it was straight away. It was a different world, sure. and uh, it was so it was so intense that my even my parents <laughs> they had to stop me a little bit because I was <laughs> it was like nonstop, nonstop. Even in school, I was like fl flipping around in the school in, in the breaks, yeah, school breaks, or uh, like yeah, you know, class breaks. Yeah. Uh, or I had a friend who was also in the academy, so we 
we do like a little fight in a oh, in, the, in the school. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, but not uh, not filming. It's oh, just, no, you know, like not fooling around. You know? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we 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 were known we were known for that. You know, like just fooling around. Ah, oh, those martial arts guys. I'm, uh, yeah, school. how can you not? Yeah. I've noticed that with a lot. Yeah. It's because it's a lifestyle as well. And the next thing you know, exactly, you're like yeah. having breakfast in horse stance. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 too, too. exactly. It was like that. Yeah, every five minutes, uh, you know, last class uh, teacher changes. You know, like you right. have, either you have to you have to change the classroom or you have to uh, the teacher change uh, change right the math or to sciences or whatever to right. the language. And uh, all the five minutes uh, change, uh, I went to my corner and I stretched every fucking day. <laughs> I remember every day. Like, Got to yeah. do some math I, here. Hold on. Exa- yeah, exactly. <laughs> and but but always always I kept in mind like I didn't give a fuck what the, the other people think. Yeah. Uh, of course, for most of the uh, students uh, or uh, my um, oh, sorry, yeah, students, they uh, they just uh, call me. Ah, uh, oh, you want show off? Blah blah blah. But uh, as soon they saw it many times that they do it every day and every break. So they get used to it. And I was right. like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah so, that's yeah. me, Dan. He stretches, you know. He's yeah, got, exactly. he's got yeah, to do exactly. some math. You can't do math without stretching, obviously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's funny enough, like, nowadays when I, when I remember, also when, when I see my uh, old student uh, colleagues, uh, they remember. And they, uh, of course, they follow my, my path a little bit. Yeah. And they, 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 they just knew. They just knew, oh, okay, it's funny. You know, right. he started yeah, so young, sense. and then, <laughs> yeah, now 20, 20 years later, he doesn't, he didn't stop it, so he hasn't stopped it. Yeah. He still do it. And all now, that, yeah, all that was practice beforehand. Yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. That's my son. Did you, stu- did you study any other disciplines after Wushu? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, when I, uh, so, uh, let me think, how was it? I think uh, 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 12 years, it was only Wushu. Mm-hmm. 12 years was Wushu. Of course, I did a little bit of tricking, uh, uh, parkour, uh, all the stuff. Yeah. It was so tra- trendy in the time then. But uh, um, it was only Wushu. And I believed Wushu was the best sport ever. Sure. I could do... I really, literally, I thought, like, I can fight, I can I can move, you know, I can uh, defend myself. Right. You're like, I've but, seen Crouching but, Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It, it, exactly. <laughs> it, it was like, all, 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 all Jackie movies, Jet Li movies, yeah, see, they can fight. So yeah, I can do. me too. It's the it same. Was, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's the same. It's the imagination. And then, um, but when I uh, had my big uh, first big international movie, uh, Skyfall, oh, I, met, what? Yeah, I met a lot of people. Who are not Wushu, has not Wushu background because you know, Skyfall, it's just born. They right. have all pro- proper, proper martial art, uh, fighting skills, sparring, um, tactical, realistic, you know, all like those combat. Uh, <laughs> com- exactly, combat uh, abilities. And I went, uh, and then they, they asked me, What is your background actually? I said, Wushu. Everyone, oh, you, you know, you're wrong here. Yeah? <laughs> everyone, everyone. But I was just lucky enough that they, uh, that I got the job because they're looking for Asian people, like a little bit more um, oh, mixed uh, nation. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, I was there. Yeah, exactly. I was there. and then, uh, But then I realized because, of course, we had like a two-month two month, uh, uh, training, like a, a fight camp or oh, training cool. camp. And, all. and uh, I learned everything like from combat, uh, shooting, how to... Um, how to uh, 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 de-rig the gun, no? rig the oh, gun, what? all the stuff, shooting, uh, military uh, um, education, yeah. uh, all the commands, whatever, and also boxing, MMA, grappling, because that's the tone of the music. Right. And, uh, and then after that, we had sometimes some, some sparring moments. And that was my first time I just realized, fuck, I don't know what to do. When, <laughs> when you get punched I, in the I, face, literally, <laughs> like, what literally, happened? <laughs> uh, literally, I didn't know what to do. I just stood there and I tried to defend whatever, but not, nothing worked. I have no clue what should I do now. Okay, of course, I can try to punch it, but I get punched back the whole time while he's <laughs> defending. So I don't know. I don't know to read it. I don't know to yeah, I know how to move it. Sure. So then I, the first time I realized, fuck, my wushu is literally nothing compared mm. for that right you know, for that it's nothing you're like i can so then, jump since then ah. exactly <laughs> i can jump i can kick high i can yeah, yeah i can just split watch this flip i can like pose <laughs> yeah and have good pose so. and they're just punching but, you while you're posing like, oh, exactly no. that, yeah <laughs> that's what that was it but then after that um literally i started to realize it and it was more fun i think it's more sometimes you know people they live in their own world. Oh yeah, like little, uh, like what? Uh, yeah, little world. Uh, what happened to uh, me at the same time? Because I thought 
my my world, my martial arts, my, what I, who I am, I'm good. Right. Kind of good. Not uh, cocky, but I think I'm good. You know? Yeah, confident. But then, uh, yeah, you're confident. But then when I, let, uh, uh, like I said, when I met the other guys, uh, we sparred a little bit. I was nothing. From, from, <laughs> I was from, not good. From, from, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm nothing. <laughs> right. So then, I, like I said, I, rest, I, I, I restart. <laughs> you're humble. Like, I, rest, I, um, I got the, literally, I got the bit, bitch slap you know, yeah. in the face. Yeah. And then, like, guys, uh, watch this. They go, watch this. <laughs> yeah, so, bam. Right? The then, yeah, after I realized, like, oh, okay, my wushu is not that sports or martial arts for those things. Mm-hmm. I should change it. You know, like uh, the the moment uh, or the considering the consideration. Okay, I need to change something. My my twelve year routine every day, splitting, doing all the shit, you know, springing or um, uh, uh, form school, you know, all the basic training. Mm-hmm. I have to change it to martial arts, to boxing, right. to you know, to 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 mid training, whatever. You know, sure. And then uh, slowly, yeah, for then yeah, for, since then I think it's two thousand eleven when we shot uh, Sky Four. Until now, I do a lot of boxing, uh, MMA, uh, grappling, uh, BJJ. Um, now, because of this movie, Eskrima, uh, Balin Tavak, oh, sweet. Uh, knife, knife fights, you know, all those stuff, like more military stuff. I don't know, I won't say military, but more uh, um, practical, practical uh, martial arts. So I, I, I uh, focus a lot of uh, head movements, uh, distance, uh, footsteps, footwork, you know, like all the play. Um, uh, angles, you know, all that stuff. Sure, yeah. sure. Now, and I, 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 funny enough, yeah, that's now, this is my world. Wushu is still a good base, uh, or I, I, f- I feel like it's a good foundation for uh, screen fighting, for sure. It's, mm-hmm. If you don't have it, then it's very hard to, to get it. I would right, say. right. Especially, especially when you go from boxing or from, you know, from Wing Chun, whatever, to screen fighting, then you don't understand the distance about you know, safety-wise, or you don't, um, you, you're not... Um, it's not easy to adapt. It's not right. too easy to adapt. Or you have to scream present, uh, moments, beat, rhythm, melody, you know, pacing. Because in in wushu, exactly that's what wushu makes it um, uh, unique. Because right. it's about rhythm, you know, this um, uh, low, uh, low, high uh, stances, you know, like changes in the levels, changes in the, in pacing, speed, you know, slow. You have like a do you anticipate a little motion? Like, how, how do you spell it? Accelerating? Right. Like, uh, speeding up a little bit. Eh? Yeah. yeah. It's the all because it's another performance. Exactly. It's performance. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So then, and, and then in boxing, for instance, or in other martial arts, you don't have it. You have only straightforward. Yeah. You're, you know? you're fighting. You are just straightforward. <laughs> yeah. You're fighting. Yeah. There's no, there's no bullshitting. You just <laughs> exactly. right. You want to yeah. smash it. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to get all hit punches. less. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So all jabs, jabs or cross, even have to hit. It has to have, it has to have a, 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 be a hit. That's right. You know? it's, it's, it's objective. Or you, or you a fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you do a fan, but then you do a strike again. So, but uh, besides of that, everything has to be a strike. Yeah. Yeah, for and sure. And it's different. Right? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. So, when you're doing martial arts then, and that's your life, what made you want to get into film then? Like, Skyfall just kind of uh, showed up, and then you're like, oh, this is it. Uh, um, <laughs> not actually, yeah, way, way before Skyfall, uh, I was already in the film school. Oh, okay. Actually, cool. yeah, I was in media school. Media school. It's not a uh, traditional film school. The media school means like, I, I could, could choose. Many different focusing on my uh, yeah what, what what I wanted to do uh-huh. and because you know, normally in film school you're like okay you choose directing oh and then so besides, you're like only I mean, one if you do, yeah then you do only directing directing oh. drama storytelling a little bit um, uh, uh, screenwriting you know this is your thing sure but how to how to 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 work with actors how to speak to them blah blah blah. Huh? Uh, psychology, whatever. Mm-hmm. If you work as a cinematographer, it's more lighting, it's more camera, it's more uh, uh, maybe history, you know, all the stuff or uh, compositing. Sure, they don't cross yeah, over yeah. as much. Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, wow. to me, it's, I would like to be. I did because I didn't know what I want to do in the beginning. Of course, because Jet Li and Jackie Chan, I tried to be. You know what? I want to be an actor, right. or I want to be a stuntman. But my, well, straight away, my my father, my mom, they said, "No, you cannot do it because <laughs> don't uh, get broken." They, they, yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't get broken. It's not. What is that? What is? This? It's not a job. And we switched <laughs> my my parents. Yeah, they are very traditional Asian, mm-hmm. very traditional Asian, and uh, my father's a doctor as well. Oh, makes sense. So yeah, so it's like okay, no, should do uh, something with medicine. So like, 
do a medic or whatever, you know, like uh, dentist or you, you go my path. You know? Right. But, uh, Not my, get punched but for my, a living. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but my, my grades weren't that good for, for, for the school, you know, medic, you. medic school. And uh, so I had to show it, what should I do? But I was very good in math and the scientists. Uh-huh. Like it's cliche, all that stretching. Cliche Asian. Yeah, cliche <laughs> Asian. Asian. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I was. I was really good. So I decided, okay, whatever. And then uh, maybe I, get to te- I will be a teacher. I will become a teacher. A teacher, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, my, my parents were like, yeah, okay, let's go. It's decent. You get good government support. Money is safe. Life is safe. Yeah. And um, uh, I, got, I applied myself. And uh, to to the school teachers teaching school and everyone uh, I I got uh, I went through I uh-huh. passed and then I thought oh, okay maybe this is my way but I, um, there was another friend when I had like tricking um, uh, training mm-hmm. and he said so okay you are not allowed to do acting yeah or to be actor why do you not shoot your own movies where you can act oh and I was like oh, you oh can shit. do that, that I, <laughs> yeah yeah I didn't know I was like hey. Hey, fuck! That's not that's that, not, uh, not a bad idea. And th- this guy, he 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 was already uh, studying in the media design. Oh. And so he just suggested, and I was like, oh, that's not a bad idea. So I tried, I applied. Yeah, I had to do like some tests and uh, uh, a short film, whatever. Never did, never done anything before. None. I never had a camera in the hand. Nothing. The only thing what I had is like, okay, choreography wise, I knew something, you know, sure. because of um, stage performance a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Wushu, yeah. Perfect. So I created a little ninja movie, but it's worse. It's not good. But <laughs> I, I passed. I passed with a with an A, a, yeah. a gla- like a perfect uh, grade. And because the the, the professor, uh, he he saw my uh, yeah kind of pretension, right? Like, uh, visuals, vi- visuals. And then uh, yeah, I passed. And then yeah, since then I I knew that's uh, that would be my way. But then I studied for six years, six years, yeah, and. Um, in these six years, I just realized filmmaking itself makes me more happy than uh, be in front of camera. Right, right. Yeah, so that, that's because what you like better, control. like directing and stuff like that. Yes, yes. So I, uh, in the film uh, meeting school or my studying, uh, I focus on directing and cinematography. Cool. Uh, and but in a in a in the my um, in a semester, I did everything. So from grading, post production sound design uh, especially camera work a lot and then in the end two years only focusing on directing so storytelling I, I uh, read a lot of books and uh, research about yeah structure drama structure uh, breakdown for actors whatever you know, dialogues uh, all those stuff pacing about uh, uh, with the rhythm for, for drama mm-hmm. and uh, yeah that's now my profession so when yeah, I'm, when I'm working it. in Germany <laughs> yeah not yet but uh, in Germany, <laughs> when I work, yeah, when I work in Germany, my uh, profession is uh, definitely director and cinematographer. Uh, uh, as a stuntman, I, I never, I, I worked one or two, a couple of times in Germany as a stuntman, but not that much. It's like few, three, four times only oh. for little shows. And then most of the time, uh, uh, I think 2015, 16, and 17. So in between, because I jumped to overboard the other shows, mm-hmm. I uh, yeah directed a lot of music videos for your, uh, for uh, Sony Music and um, uh, Universal Music. That's cool. Yeah. I've seen a lot of yeah, like, like directors do that as well, like music videos to kind of try a bunch of different things, and it's a good experimental yes. place. Yeah, I mean, like, for me, it was no, yeah, of course, David Fincher, Michael Bay, all the big uh, director. Yeah. They started with music videos, yeah. And uh, for me, it was a good uh, like learning process because I had the first time budget. Oh, I got the right. budget. My, my first, yeah, before, before my first budget. I mean, it's not like like a student music video. I got a proper bu- uh, budget. Yeah, it started for with sure. Ten ten thousand dollars for you. There first. you go. That was something. That was not nothing. This was this was not uh, much. It's like okay, here, boy, show what you can do. Yeah, but um, <laughs> prove yourself. The ten thousand. Exactly, but ten thousand is not for me. So I spent everything. So right. for the crew, for the technique, for the um, gears, everything, the location, the uh, catering, so everything I have to provide with this money. So in the end, up is nothing. But it was a good uh, school for me, and it was a good uh, a learn process. Uh, so I, I just learned how to deal with um, producing or uh, the budget. That, that was the start. Later on, I had my highest budget was forty-five thousand. Ooh, uh, so, so my it. my range my range uh, range was like twenty five until the highest forty five, 
Dude, <laughs> and that's this was de- awesome. This is, this is decent uh, budget for. I mean, of course, compared to America, is that nothing. And like, America is like <laughs> two hundred thousand or five hundred thousand or one million sometimes. It's a lot. Yeah, in Germany, the highest is some uh, back in the days. Yes, was the same kinda, but then uh, uh, yeah, it's got cheaper YouTube and whatever, and uh, it started to be like uh, the highest is like sixty thousand highest. Dude, you know. So my range was forty five. The highest, uh, I think, it's okay. Like to deal, to pay overtime, whatever you know, to manage everything and have have a crew. A yeah. Team. Dude, yeah, it takes it was skill. A good experience. It takes skill to produce something like that, especially like to make a budget last as long as possible. Because it, yeah. it can go fast if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's but a good, really good skill yeah. to have. But the good thing is, like, uh, I had to fully control because I directed, I I, I wrote the script, I directed, I do camera work as well, as DP, oh, uh, and uh, post production and grading. So finished. So there's no back and forth. Oh, I give you the editor; and he does something. You know, it's just <laughs> everything in my control. All of this yeah. is mine. Yeah, Dude. but the, um, uh, my workflow is always like I just want to please also the artist. It's not like oh, okay, that's my idea. Here, take it. Right. If you don't take it, you're you're shit. It's more like yeah. I just listening, always listening to the artist. I just ask. I, I'm, I'm always asking, what do you want? Mostly, they don't know what they want. Right. But I, I just <laughs> question. I do questions like I question. Okay, what about this? What about that? Uh, I'm asking every, everything about his life. What do you, what do you thought about the song when you wrote? What do you, what what is your first feeling? Sometimes they're just little things, just little details. So yeah, uh, uh, he he will be happy. Producer will be happy. Then I'm happy. So, yeah, I mean that's that's it. Know. That's collaboration in its finest, really. You know, when yeah. you have the artist give you the song, you're like, okay, let's do this. Dude, speaking of something <laughs> that's amazing, so I am a huge fan of your Darth Maul thing you did. Holy uh, shit! Oh, okay. dude, talk <laughs> about it. Tell me the stories. <laughs> that had well, to be a lot okay, of work. That's, that's huge. Um, the Darth Maul, yeah, it was a crazy experience or crazy trip. I would say, like adventure. Uh, yeah, the uh, Darth Maul, uh, the short film is basically actually um, uh, my friend's uh, movie. It oh. is a graduation, uh, uh, last movie for uh, his uh, 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 studies. Yeah. And uh, he, he did the Bachelor uh, for this. Oh, sweet. And, uh, he, he, he wrote the script. Uh, we, we, we worked a little bit together, but mostly he, he wrote it. So just back and forth, like questions, uh, like uh, uh, opinions, opinions, my opinions. But in the end, yeah, I was uh, the action director, so... Uh, we worked very hard for this. Uh, we we spent twenty five thousand euro for this uh, short. Yeah. We worked, um, yeah, w- almost one year on it. So it's like uh, I think it was fourteen or twelve or fourteen days, but uh, wow. um, split split it in a year. So we are sometimes in spring, some sometimes in summer, and then, uh, in uh, autumn. Really. For yeah, because uh, we we couldn't hold the actors and the stunts, everything scheduling. Uh, yeah, scheduling. Yeah, it's very oh, hard. Oh, work yes. very and at the same time, uh, in between, we did uh, post production. Oh. The most of production he did, uh, Sean did for sure. Uh, Sean is the director. Sean yeah, Boo. Sean Boo. Yeah, uh, he is also very. Uh, uh, he's very uh, into uh, like visual effects and all this stuff. That so, makes sense. Why uh, it looks so good. Yeah, he 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 spent a lot of time there. No, it was crazy. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, yeah, I had a lot of interviews about the Star Wars, and I, I tried to remember the good uh, key points. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's cool. It's I mean, you did a really good job. That's crazy. It took a year over weekends. That's the thing. A lot of yeah. a lot of indie mm-hmm. movies do that. Like I remember, mm-hmm. I remember hearing stories about like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It took like a year and a half because they'd film for a little bit, run out of money, raise some more, film for a little bit, run out of money. And just keep it going, and then it's all in the edit, you know, afterwards to crazy. kind of piece it. That's Man. crazy, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. um, first of us, yeah, first of us, just more uh, location. We had a lot of troubles, a lot of troubles. The worst trouble was uh, we had a little issue with the DOP <clears throat> because at first, my first time I said to him and also all the production, I don't want to do a camera. I just want to do a focus on only, I just want to experience how it is to be the only action director. Right. Right. So so ju- I just stay back. I have my monitor. I just call the shot. Yes. Right. <laughs> but uh, I I don't want to do the operation of the camera. I don't want to do um, um, all the technical stuff. 
I just wanted to uh, focus only on dir uh, directing. Right. But uh, uh, yeah, we have we have a big fo uh, fight. We had a big, very big fight with the DP or camera or department. I bet. Because <laughs> ego, yeah, a lot, a lot of egos. Oh yeah, and, yes, uh, that's a set. Yes, we, <laughs> yeah, because we 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 were. I mean, like, I was already, uh, I worked already, but mm -hmm. uh, he was, my friend was a st still a student, and there are the guys come out by that, of course, they were professional, like uh, working in a TV show or whatever, or some stuff, and uh, they thought about, yeah, you know, you're a little kid, now we show you how to work. Right. Oh, even boy. it's our project, even it's our project, even it's our money. Oh, but still, boy. Like, that, that, this kind of attitude, you know, like, because oh, I, yeah. I uh, when I try to, um, to call the shot or try to uh, to do the shot and like okay let's go here there traction whatever uh, always was uh, moaning sure moaning or complaining <laughs> I was like dude why why is like because he knows better and right next, like, uh, <laughs> yeah so in the end <laughs> yeah, in the end uh, in the middle of the show uh, even Sean had the fight with him and then we we decided you know what hey, let's let's kick him and then I uh, uh, yeah I took I took over in the middle of the show. Oh, middle of the shoot, I just, okay, you know what, I do camera. And then from the middle until the end, with the, all the desert part, I did the camera then. There you, you go. Know. That's a, But it was stressful. I, you're very, I bet. Dude, you're doing a lot yeah, of different things with your hats. You're like, I got a yeah, director, just, producer, yeah. I can do this, I can do that. You must be like a yeah. jack of all trade on set. Yeah. Good yeah, job. I, mean, like, I try to be always calm, always calm, and I just try to think. And then, uh, but, but yeah, that's maybe as one of my, uh, uh, I would say, talent. Yeah. I never say talent actually because I I, I believe I kind of talent yes but I I believe everyone everyone could do it oh everyone can can some, do everything that like what I do it's just uh, how how your mindset is oh, how yeah. how much you want you know that's why because sometimes um even this is this is a thing in my in the story also uh, like it's a little story in my life mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm telling I, I'm telling always my friends or everyone when when I have interviews about the story I have a friend his name is Andy Long. Oh yeah, he. Uh, uh, I don't know if you know him or yeah, yeah, heard yeah. about him. Yeah, uh, so he, yeah, he's a very, very. Good, I think one of the best stunt men uh, who I know, and uh, he's also from Jackie Chan stunt team. I was he just about team, to say that. Uh, yeah, eight, eight or nine years ago, he joined them with the Chinese Zodiac, and he had. Um, uh, so his story was: uh, he went to France. And he was looking for the set of Jackie Chan. He heard, he had the rumors. He heard about the, the shooting in France. So he was looking, he, 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 in the, back in the time, he didn't have any money, very, very less, like just pocket money. He grew up at, uh, everything what he had, just his backpack, and I just traveled to uh, France mm -hmm. many hours. And then for two weeks, even sleeping under the bridge, whatever, he, he took the risk to find and search for the set, to go there and to, to give Jackie a show here. And to ask if he can join or can help or do anything, Dude. he just wanted because because this is his, his um, dream. It was his dream. Yeah. This is what he wants the whole time to be Jackie Chan's team. And um, uh, I, of course, he, he told me. But afterwards, right when he uh, went to and I said, "Dude, why didn't you uh, ask me to, uh, to join you? I have money. I have a car. It's easy. You know, we can uh, we can do it together." Right. But I said no. But uh, the only thing what he said is. Yeah, but you don't want it. That's I, a good or, point. You, or you didn't want it. And I say, why? Of course, if you would ask me, of course I would say yes. Yeah, but you don't want it. You, did, you, you don't want it to, uh, to be Jackson or something. So where do you know that? If you ask, <laughs> I would join you. And then he said, that, yeah, but you wouldn't do this what I did. Like, well, yeah, but if you had asked me, then uh, then I would do it, you know, something like that. And all the time, all the time, we had a big, uh, big fight then because I felt a little bit, betrayed or a little bit like um like he left you it's like uh yeah he left me you know mm -hmm. but then in the end like what we we did we hadn't speak like for one year i went to skyfall at the time he went uh, to china and did chinese year so in the end his story he went to france they refused him but he asked can i still help what, what do you want to do yeah just carry boxes or cable whatever uh -huh. and then uh uh he said yeah, whatever you do what you have whatever you want so he did it every day. So for a couple of weeks, just with no money, just you know, carrying all everything. Jackie just saw him every day. I was like, "What the fuck is doing here?" Or oh, whatever. No. You know, he doesn't. Yeah, he's like, oh, "Who is that guy?" Uh, and he's coming every day. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then it's a and homeless then, guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then the start, one of the sign coordinator, uh, he said, "Okay, so we, we travel now to China, 
And if you like, you can come, but you have to pay for your own. And we, but we cannot promise you to that you can you not know, work for us because we have too many agents. You know, we don't right. need agents. You know? so, <laughs> so, and full. then he was like, yeah, okay, okay. Then this is when he came back to Germany. Then he told me the story, you know. And then we had like a little fight, and then he he went. And then in the end, when he came to Beijing, uh, he knocked on the door and said, asked, here I am. And everyone was like wondering, what the fuck, well, you are really here? You know, what, what, what are you doing here in Beijing? So yeah, because he said, well, yeah, but you cannot work here. And then Jackie uh, opened the door and said, come. Yeah, wow. you can join. Dude. That is a big story. That's yeah. a crazy big story. Talk yeah. about commitment. Because, exactly, it's commitment. So in the end, uh, we have not, this is his story, his path. Uh, for one year, we haven't spoke. Uh, our friendship was broken. We, uh, I thought, okay, oh, it's quitting because I felt very betrayed or, or cheated or it's like not really the friendship yeah. or brotherhood. So I thought, no, it's, he, he's like, just want to do his own stuff. Let's not think about the team. So in the end, I had, to, I had a opera show and all of a sudden, uh, in the premiere of the opera show in Stuttgart, in a different uh, city, all of a sudden, he was there in the first row. Any long. Oh. He just said that. Hey, one year later, we haven't spoke at all. And I, I, I had my performance there. And then when I, uh, I have a moment when I step forward to the audience, and then I saw his face in the first row, <laughs> and I, 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 I was, I, I was irritated. I was in the moment. I was confused. I, I, I just thought, what the fuck? What is he doing here? Yeah. You know, uh, how does that even happen? Uh, how can, how can he know that I'm? Uh, I'm here performing in the opera at the moment. Yeah, who let him in here? Uh, and it was, yeah, it's, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. So, of course, the uh, show was wrapped. Uh, we came, he came, we hugged, we talked, and uh, he uh, felt very bad because one year, no connection, no talking. Because our friendship meant a lot to, uh, for him. But the more thing what I learned in this, uh, in this one year is also I just learned and I understood what he said or what he meant with, you you didn't want it, or you, you didn't want to be Jackie Chan Santi, because he is right. I didn't and haven't risked anything in my life to do something like that. Oh. I'm, I I was like a home city a shaker. I was always home. I did always what everyone talked to me or even studying. I was there, of course, finishing my school. I didn't risk to do the chance to go to China. I knew about them because he saw he taught uh, he, he told me. Right. So actually, a could grabbed the opportunity and then just went to China as well. But I didn't because I didn't want it. Right. 100%. I didn't, I didn't feel or I didn't want it to be a Jackson Stunty. And he was fully correct. And that was exactly what he, uh, I totally agreed. Then I realized, yeah, if you really want something, you will go for it. You will know, you will know about it. You will know everything. You're this right. That's what he also claimed. Yeah? He claimed it. He, he, uh, he said always that you don't want it because if you really uh, want it, or wanted it, then you knew about everything. You, you, you knew about that he was shooting in France. You knew about that oh, I will go there. You knew about everything. But uh, in, in, in yourself, you know, you don't yeah. want it really, for real. And then, uh, but it, back, like I said, in that moment, I didn't understand it. I just was angry. And then sure. uh, one year, I just realized, you know, like try to... Uh, with, um, Realizing just, yeah, questioned myself and then found myself and I was like, yeah, he was right. Sure. And after that old story or uh, incident, I had, uh, yeah, my mind, my mindset was like, yes, true. So I keep always like finding, finding the, uh, the philosophy. If I really want something, I, look, I can get it. But, yeah, uh, the question, and how bad the question do you is, want it? <laughs> exactly. That's the question. Do you really want it or you would like have it? Right. For instance, when I ask, if, if I ask someone, hey, do you want to be a Jackson Stunt team? He says, yeah, of course I want. But you don't know what, uh, what it means to live because I, or to work with Jackie. I, I'm also a Jackie Stunt team now, a member now. Yeah. I joined uh, yeah, two, two years ago. Because J- uh, Andy, Andy Long and Max Wong, uh, two of uh, uh, my brothers, they brought me into the team. Oh, and they, cool. ju- they ju- suggest me to the Sun Kunator. He said, hey, you know, this is the best guy for camera work. Oh, he's very good action designer. You want to try him, and then he's uh, Stunt Coordinator for uh, Jackie Stunt Coordinator. He has five or uh, four, I think, four, four, four. Uh, no, five, 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 five Stunt Coordinator. Uh-huh. And he, uh, he, he just, just try, uh, wanted to try me, and then uh, I came there and joined uh, with the movie The Four A now. 
and I did all editing, camera work, and previous, and then uh, uh, was perfect. Dude. Everyone was happy. And then yeah, next movie, a Bleeding Steel, and then yeah, then, then I joined the team. And um, that's so cool. It was yeah, but yeah. It, for me, it's like a life achievement for sure. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm very yeah, I'm very happy uh, that happened, and I'm very grateful for Andy and for Max Wong that they brought me into the team. But it is same, same happened. Uh, I realized, I knew because they they told uh, they told me a lot of stories, eh? how it is in China, how is how it is working with Jackie. It, it, it is not easy. Oh, it's I very bet. tough. When I be, I I believe I know only four people in whole Germany who would survive that. Oh yeah. <laughs> from, from all the stunt guys, all the stunt guys, I think uh, I believe only four people they they would um, survive or not surviving, but more mostly they will stand for it or they will fight for it. Yeah, I most that. of the people, yeah, they will just know uh, one week, two weeks, they will what? Fuck it, I just quit. Sure, yeah, because, yeah, because it's mental, it's mental, it's just mental. It's but uh, if you if you are minded or if you are willing to do everything what they're saying or how to how they work, then uh, it's good. But it's the mindset. It's just a mindset. That's true. And then and then it's belie- uh, then again, I believe it's just if you really want it, then you can make it. And most of the people, when I've asked them, you want it? They will say, yes, I want to be a Jackie Chan Sankey. Yes, I want to be working with Jackie. Huh? They don't understand what, they, what they're what saying. I right. think they would like, they would like, but they don't want to. Because the same, <laughs> they don't again, know what it takes. If they, <laughs> yes, exactly. How much sacrifice it is, actually. Yeah. You know? I mean, how, and Jackie's like uh, famous for, you know, risking his life for a stunt. <laughs> it's like, jump yeah, from yeah, this sure, to yeah. a moving train. Can you do that? And you're like, oh, do I want it that bad? It's like Jackie yeah, does it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, mostly, most of the part is also, you know, all the people, some guys, they think about, oh, I can work with Jackie. The, the first thought is, okay, I can fight with Jackie, against Jackie, or with Jackie. So right, you know? right. But it, 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 it won't happen. No, yeah. It won't fucking happen. <laughs> you know? It won't happen. In, in the end, you will you will be maybe one stunt guy is holding the rope on the yeah. wire. And then, that's it, that's it, you know. Or you're cleaning mats, or you're like, uh, p- helping protecting something, or you're preparing something. Right. But this is what it is. Now. You are, as a stunt team, you have, and you have to learn Chinese. Right, yeah. You know, it's from the, the stretch, yeah, you have to learn. Yeah. You have to learn straight from the stretch, yeah. Straight in the cold water. And this is what it is. Now, some people, they don't want to learn, they want to be open. Or you get yelled the whole time, you know. Yeah. So it's like in Chinese. So you, and you have to understand. <laughs> and also, the great thing is like, they, they don't explain. So oh really? You have to know. Yeah, you <laughs> have just, to know. This is you it. have to know. Man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you have to know. If you don't know it, you get yelled. Yeah. yeah. And from what but, I understand but, about Chinese movies, they're also very fast. They just kind of get it going. And... Oh my god, it's super Jeez. fast. It's super fast. Yeah. Man. There's, all, how, there's a reason why how we get uh, into a battle so quick because Chinese uh, production, so, uh, like work uh, workflow, was also super Chinese. Yeah, I dude, Into the Badlands is like one of the one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. It's like, oh man, thank and, you, and you're, dude. You work on it. What? Uh, yeah. How yeah. cool is that? How did 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 Daniel Wu really find you on YouTube? Yes, yes, he did. What? Uh, he did, dude. Um, I mean, I mean, the, the the full story was uh, he found me on um, uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, my my show reel, and I think also my filmmaker reel. I'm not sure. And then, uh, yeah, no, no, no. First was my show show reel, and he had my oh, he he looks similar to MK, so uh, it's a double. He so he 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 had me already as a double uh, in mind, but he didn't know about me. So because just a random Asian guys from Germany, who is that? You know? yeah. And then um, uh, because skills sometimes or videos they show the best, but you don't know who uh, how he can work. Right. Or how he is, his mentality is all, and uh, maybe sometimes uh, I could be a dick, you know, a right, dick. So, right. You know, like a cocky, uh, yeah. So he doesn't know. So, so he didn't know at that time. But uh, he asked um, uh, back in the days uh, the stunt coordinator, Pete Mines. Okay, here, try to reach out for him, and then uh, I got an email from Pete Mines, and yeah, I, I told him, yeah, I'm. He asked me about my background, uh, Hong Kong fights and whatever. Uh-huh. I told him, yeah, yeah, I'm a Jackie Chan stunt team work there, and blah blah. blah. Oh, cool. And then Daniel, Daniel uh, was curious because Daniel is uh, also in JC management. Oh, okay, smart. Yeah, so so yeah, so there's all one family. 
So, of course, he's like, oh, oh wait a minute, JC Santim, okay, let's see if he's lying or is the truth. <laughs> yeah, so he, he called, <laughs> Dor- yeah, test him. So he called Dorothy, uh, she's the assistant of Jackie, and then she recommended. She's like, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, good, good boy, Ooh, he's a good worker. Dodge that After that, yeah, Daniel <laughs> said, okay, sweater, I want this boy. Yeah, and then I uh, I joined the D- Badlands season two as Dude. MKW. Yeah, and season three, I was assistant action director and, uh, yeah, fight editor and uh, still <laughs> stand up for, for MK. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing, yeah. though. That is it cool to be like yeah. to be a stunt double where you get to like wear the costume as well and do all that cool stuff? It's gotta uh, be fun, right? Is it fun? Is it yeah. uncomfortable? Uh, oh, it's very heavy. Uh, I it's, bet. It, yeah, yeah, it's very heavy. It's actually not that comfy. It might be because it's, it's so made so much layers. The costume design is amazing. Yeah, oh, oh, the work yeah. That, yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, like. Um, Johnny and all the, uh, um, the costume uh, designer over there, it's amazing how what they're doing. But it's uh, sometimes like it looks good, but it's not that practical. Right. So we have you to find the balance. In it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It's very hard. But we, yeah, we, we, we are professional. I never, we, we are, this is kind of also Chinese style, I would say. So it's like we try to adapt as we can. Right. You're just make that. it happen. Figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, just make it happen. So it's like. Man, yeah. you, so what was your first day on set like? Uh, a, a big pressure, uh, but also funny. So uh, season two, when I joined the mm-hmm. uh, first time, uh, it was so funny because I, I actually literally ca- uh, came back from Jackie film uh, movie. And when I came back, uh, I met those amazing new Chinese team. And the new Chinese team is from Yung Bo Ping. Oh. Who, yeah, who choreographed or performed for many years for Jet Li. Oh, perfect. And, uh, and, and it's like, holy shit. And then, of course, they, they say, oh, they saw my merchandise. That's my old Jackie Chirp and all the gears. <laughs> They're like, oh, you should work at Jackie Chan. Yeah, yeah, Jackie Chan. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's funny. Okay, let me see what you can do. So then it was like, not in a bad way. It was just, just funny. You know, they were super nice. And then, But you can tell, like, the rhythm and the pacing, the performance-wise, it was really different. And I have to adapt really. Like, uh, sometimes I have hard time. They knew that I can work a Chinese way. So there's no bullshitting. No, like, uh, please, can you? No, straight forward. No, shit. Oh, flow. Oh, yeah. more faster. Come oh, it goes slow. You know, it's like, uh, just some work. But I, I used to, and I love it. Because, like I said, maybe it's some German stuff. Mm-hmm. So that I, it's like, no layers, you know, no uh, too much talking. It's yeah. just, okay, Take what do you want? Time, you know, time's money. Keep exactly. it going. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes it useful and, uh, to keep working as well. Because I've seen that, yeah. like, the now infamous, uh, you know, like, Battle of the Widows. I mean, yeah. oh. dude, that is that yeah. is cinema history going on there. Oh. I mean, you mean the uh, the Widow versus Widow? Yes. Dude. Yeah, Black Widow versus Widow. Oh, cool. You guys. Like, yeah. They... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You you caught a camera from the second story. Like, who thinks of stuff like uh, that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, Andy, Andy Chang, the action director, he had uh, uh, the idea he had to do stitch uh, shot and everything. And that was a great, amazing experience, especially because we don't have any uh, rehearsal uh, or, or like perhaps day, right? Because it's a TV show and we work in Chinese style, it's normal, and we have to come up with all the ideas and all the tests and everything on a day. What? And, uh, yeah, it was, there was no rehearsals yeah, for none so, of that? I mean, like, rehearsal on a day, yes. Of yeah, course, but like try, before the day? That, so, no, there's no rehearsal. Good so we do. Lord. We had everything on the, on the day. Yeah, we have to do everything on the day. Yeah. Dude, that is and, ballsy. Uh, yeah, it was that was very exciting. I was very happy. Like this 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 whole scene is very very important for me. Yeah, that was very important because um, for the editing, everything I pushed so hard for everything. You know? Yeah, that's another thing that's amazing is like your work ethic is next level. And the fact that you're like shooting it and then immediately editing it and then going back and like doing all of this stuff that normally would take like weeks, if not months. You're like doing it all at the same time. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because um, it was because yeah, if you are like from this from the beginning or also when they because the choreography was uh, Bao Liang is his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he he did the choreography with the team, and 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 the team, of course he gave the amazing storytelling, uh, his ideas, and all what he wants. And uh, when you are there in the beginning, and you can follow, you can see because normally that like, you have department, and okay, uh, the idea uh, uh, um, is done, but then uh, you shoot it, 
it's wrapped and then you give it to the post production and then they look at it. They never been on set. It's like okay, what should we do? Okay, let's use uh, camera A and B and C and D, you know. And then you have no really um, uh, a clue what really happened. Right. Yeah, there's got to be some yeah, a, so, a thread that you can follow throughout it. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So I, I was there. I saw, saw and I can just follow and I just yeah, of course, give you my um, my expertise as well. And uh, yeah, it was a great teamwork. And yeah. then this is really, I, think, uh, I could be very fast. And also, I'm, in editing, I'm very fast as well. So yeah, this is uh, because I, because I'm I'm very fast. Because I'm very impatient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a Chinese mentality. It's just go, 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 yeah. go, go. We don't have time. We got to keep going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm super excited to see how it looks like. So yeah. I'm straight away. Let's, let's see what it is. Yeah. That yeah. also that just I saves a lot to... of time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, hey, sorry. I need to, right? I need to, uh, bo- uh, to bother now. Yeah, I was just about um, to say, we've reached about an hour. Uh, dude. Thanks for talking to me. This was really fun. I appreciate you making time. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, no, it was really fun. And, Thank uh, you for the call. For call. A- absolutely. Congrats on the new baby. And uh, Thank you, Vinky. Have, have, have a safe flight home. Okay, thanks. Yeah, have a good one. Okay, cool. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Vidan Tran, who you know by now is awesome. He, uh, You can find him online. At, uh, on Instagram, actually, is one of the best places to catch him, at V underscore Dan, that's at V-I underscore D-A-N, uh, on, uh, on Instagram. He's got some crazy stuff. He uh, just posted a clip where he tore a ligament on Into the Badlands, so it's nuts. You can check him out there. Uh, thanks so much for listening, and uh, take care, guys. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it is at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites, as well as brianbalance.com. That is balance with two L's. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. Let them know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. That's right. Just search The Interesting Podcast on TeePublic to get some sweet gear. Also, I've made a Patreon. So if you'd like to support the show and get access to other exclusive shows, you can now do that at patreon.com slash JediBrian. On that note, special thanks to Chris, Ben, Jim, Daz, Kelly, Daryl, Logan, and Victor. Your support means everything, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.